Hello hello, dear friends. I hope you are well. In this video, I talk about one of the most exciting cars. BMW M240i. Wow! Subscribe to my channel to be a professional mechanic to have all the car information. After watching the video, comment on which part of the car was interesting to you. Highs. Turbo 6 really quick acceleration, ride and handling are even better, solid performance value. Lows, no manual transmission option, no convertible body style, back seat is somehow smaller than it was. Verdict, the new 2 Series Coupe loses some desirable traits, but adds stronger performance and bolder style. With the 2022 BMW 2 Series, the German automaker makes its entry-level, two-door car even more satisfying it's still available with rear or all-wheel drive, and its turbocharged engine options include a 255 horsepower four-cylinder, 230i models, and a 382 horsepower straight-six M240i. Still, the new 2 coupe is just as entertaining to drive and even more poised on the road. While it has a more distinguished facade and a modern interior, its back seat is actually smaller than its predecessor. As the follow-up to one of BMW's most affordable and satisfying machines, the 2022 2 Series lives up to those expectations. What's new for 2022? The 22 2 Series marks an all-new generation for one of BMW's most entertaining models. While we're happy to report it still comes standard with rear-wheel drive, the drop-top option has been dropped. Thankfully, the even racier M2 Coupe will return and could have a manual gearbox. Pricing and which one to buy. 230 IS Drive Coupe. $37,345. M240 IX Drive Coupe. $49,545. We think the rear drive 230i is the one to buy. Its 255 horsepower turbo 4 isn't nearly as quick as the 382 horsepower straight 6. In the M240i, especially without the added traction of all-wheel drive, we think it'll be similarly fun to drive with the addition of the dynamic handling and M Sport packages. Where this vehicle ranks. The former requires the latter, but combine their mix of performance upgrades, bigger wheels on stickier tires, firmer suspension components, stronger brakes, etc., and unique visual treatments are highly desirable. It has six cylinders compared to the Porsche Cayman's four. As a result it sounds nicer and feels smoother because it doesn't send so many vibrations through the pedals. More to the point, it makes the BMW extremely quick. 0 to 62 miles per hour takes just 4.8 seconds, and it has to be limited to a top speed of 155 miles per hour. Engine, transmission, and performance. The 230i features a 255 horsepower turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder, and the M240i has a 382 horsepower turbo 3.0 liter inline six. Initially, the 230i is only offered with rear wheel drive, the M240i is all wheel drive only. However, both variants will eventually be available with each respective drivetrain. An 8 speed automatic is the only transmission choice. Those looking to squeeze the most performance out of the 230i will want to choose the M Sport and Dynamic Handling, packages that together include 19 inch wheels on performance tires. A sportier suspension, upgraded brakes, a variable ratio steering system, and an electronically controlled rear differential. Most of these goodies and more come standard on the M240i. We've tested the latter and were impressed by its quick acceleration, 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds, and more refined ride, but we wish it had better steering feedback. Fuel economy and real world MPG. The rear drive. 4-cylinder 230i is rated at 26 miles per gallon in the city and 35 mpg on the highway. The all-wheel drive 6-cylinder M240i is rated at 23 miles per gallon city and 32 highway. Once we can run them on our 75 miles per hour fuel economy route, we can evaluate their real-world highway mpg. For more information about the 20 series's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. 
Are they wonderful? If they are nice, like this video and subscribe me and watching my videos on YouTube. Okay, let's go. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo Although BMW's interior design language isn't groundbreaking, it's enhanced by excellent build quality and satisfying ergonomics. Inside, the new 2 Series adopts the company's ubiquitous styling and layout. While a set of analog gauges are standard, a fully digital instrument panel that measures 12.3 inches and a head-up display are available. We only wish the front seats felt more supportive. Also, despite an increase in overall length and width, including a wheelbase that's stretched by 2.0 inches, the coupe's back seat has less headroom and legroom than the model it replaces. The BMW M240i has a dashboard that's clearly laid out and well-built, and the majority of the cabin is covered with squidgy plastics that feel expensive. You also get a smattering of high-quality trim pieces. Everything else is carried over from the M Sport model, though you shouldn't see that as a bad thing. The Dakota leather upholstery feels expensive and the pretty three-spoke M Sport steering looks great and feels satisfying to hold. Infotainment and Connectivity the 2 Series infotainment system runs through either a standard 8.8-inch .8 touchscreen or an available 10.3-inch unit. Along with steering wheel controls and voice commands, the interface can be manipulated via a rotary controller on the center console that's surrounded by useful shortcut buttons. BMW also kindly includes a physical volume knob. Every model includes a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a 10-speaker stereo. Those who want a more powerful sound system can upgrade to a 14-speaker, 464-watt Harman Kardon setup. Safety and Driver Assistance Features Along with an array of standard driver assistance technology that includes blind spot monitoring, every 2 Series is fitted with front and rear parking sensors. It can also be optioned with a self-parking assist that will automatically park it in or out of parallel or perpendicular spots. For more information about the 2 series' crash test results, visit the National Highway. Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, websites. Key safety features include Standard forward collision warning and automated emergency braking. Standard lane departure warning and lane keeping assist. Available adaptive cruise control with stop-and-go technology. Warranty and Maintenance Coverage BMW's limited and powertrain warranties are competitive with other luxury automakers, but its complementary maintenance is a perk that Mercedes-Benz doesn't offer at all. Limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Complementary scheduled maintenance is covered for 3 years or 36,000 miles. 2022 BMW 2 Series starting at $37,345. The BMW M240i looks sporty but is also reasonably usable for a small coupe. Thankfully, boring stuff like practicality hasn't come at the expense of making the M240i great fun to drive, and its brilliant turbocharged 3.0-liter engine always feels at the center of the action. There's bags of front-end bite and the car takes a nicely neutral mid-corner stance but there's also the option to quickly alter your line if you're feeling frisky. Squeeze the throttle hard and you will get a subtle smear of power over steer, aided by the Trick Electronic Limited Slip Differential at the rear, before the X-Drive system feeds torque forwards for a secure, slingshot exit. No one will pretend that this is some sort of family car, but it's way more practical than you would expect. That said, remember that this is strictly no more than a four-seater. The BMW M240i is a fast sports car that's loads of fun but also comfortable on the motorway, and easy to drive in town, but to get the best from it you need the optional automatic gearbox. Which part of this car do you think is the most exciting? If you enjoyed watching the video, like it and share it with your car